the greatest lesson that I've learned is that you, you just you put those things out in the world and you'd be amazing what comes back to you. You know, you just kind of, people want to connect dots. They want to make things happen and people love it, you know? So it's like, if you have a dream like that, don't be afraid to kind of talk about it. And, you know, there is power in holding things close, but there's also a real power in just like utilizing your network, talking to people and sharing your dreams so people can help you. Yeah. I think this is amazing because it's, I think so many creatives out there don't know how to turn their art into business. And then this, like your story of it's not just you doing everything. You you find the right people and you focus on the part that you want to focus on. I think that's a key lesson. Um, do you have any other advice you can give to creators out there? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it like helps not to be, you know, like I said, it's I think you nailed it, actually. It's just like, find people who kind of are better at those things and more passionate at those things than you are. And, you know, stick to the things that you're really, really passionate about. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're, if you're a writer, find someone who in your network that like creates prints and like loves creating prints or art or whatever, and, and kind of partner with them mm -hmm. on, on things and anything you can do at first, it's just like a hustle and a grind. And I, I, I don't think I think sometimes people are kind of locked by their own indecision and they're just like so precious with everything that they won't, they won't kind of make any decisions because they're so scared to make the wrong decision. And I've made so many wrong decisions. I continue to make wrong decisions all the way along. Yeah. And it's kind of like you just yeah. bounce off the walls and you're like, okay, well, that didn't work. Let's try something else. You know, it's like Winston Churchill said that success is, is going from failure to failure to without losing your enthusiasm. And I think that's an important yeah, part. Love that. The other thing is my business coach had some really good advice the other day. And it's like, there's um, figuring out like where your genius is, like what like really gives you energy? What are you, what are you better at than, than everyone else? And, and really kind of leaning into those kind of passions and is really important and kind of as soon as you can. And like, we all have to do it when we're starting out just, but like, as soon as you can, just like find the things that take away so much of your energy and they're just like impossible to do and you know you yeah. just hate doing it and try to outsource those to someone you know find a partner find a you know for some people it's like counting or like bookkeeping or invoicing it's like find someone to do those things because it will make you so much it'll free up your your whole soul mm -hmm. and for me, it was like, it was posting every day. Like I was very bad at just like batch scheduling and, and whatever. And, and I'd honestly say that was one of the, one of the key turn points is like, I just found people who were kind of enjoyed it. You know, they, they, they're like happy to get paid to, to take, go through all the poems, get them ready, schedule them and post them. Yeah. And that was incredible for me. So it's just those kind of little things that allow you to, Stay in your genius and continue doing what you do best, really. <laughs>